What a beautiful day, Matt, for that. It's just a, a picture-perfect day. Wonderful. It's been like that, that way all weekend, Natasha. I know. It's, it's a lovely change. Yeah, you know, we needed it. <laughs> we needed it. <laughs> it was hot. It was humid. It's been just so nice. And it was a great day. If you were out and about here in Philly, if you were maybe even down the shore, up in the Poconos, oh, yeah. it didn't matter where you were. You were definitely getting outside and enjoying a wonderful weekend. And even now at Cape May, a couple folks still out there, again, trying to soak up the last couple of uh, hours here of not only daylight for the weekend, but also that time down the shore. This is Cape May on our neighborhood network. Again, plenty of folks out there. A little bit of a breeze along the shore points, but that's not, again, hindering any of the good time that all these folks are having down there in the Cape May area. If you were down the shore through most of the uh, weekend, you needed to put the sunscreen on because there was lots of sunshine out there, but it was definitely a wonderful change of pace from that very hot and humid weather that we had most of last week. It was much more comfortable across the entire area the last Saturday and then through today as well. Now, if you're trying to, again, here in the city, soak up the last couple of hours of Sunday, maybe you want to get out and enjoy yourself here on the Sunday evening. It's going to be in the 70s, so it does stay warm for the next couple of hours. Those skies will remain clear, so we have the sunshine right now, and it looks like it's going to remain that way. Those clear skies and the much lower humidity that is all the way through the nighttime tonight. So as you move into tomorrow morning, as we wake up on Monday morning, we're going to be looking at temperatures 50s and 60s across the majority of the region about 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. You see we wake up to a 63 in Philly as well as Wilmington. Some 50s, though, through the Lehigh Valley and up into the Poconos, maybe even 54 degrees tomorrow morning in Mount Pocono. Still can't, clinging to some 60s along the shore points as well. AC and Wildwood, they're 62 and 61 respectively. So overall, it looks like if you've had the windows open in your house or your apartment like I've had, it looks like it could be another night where we're going to be continuing to see that very comfortable air sit over top of the Delaware Valley. And because high pressure is still in control, for the next couple of days or at least one more day before we could see a weak front come on through. So it's a sunny seasonable Monday for us. Again, high pressure is going to start to fade as we move into Tuesday. Here comes a cold front. It's going to be very weak. It's actually going to fade out a little bit as it moves across the area on Tuesday late in the day, and then it could give us a shower, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder as we head through Tuesday evening, parts of Tuesday night. But as we move into Wednesday, high pressure filters back in and we're looking pretty good. So again, it's a little bit warmer even with that front that comes through, but overall it doesn't look look all that bad even with our humidity maybe a little bit on the higher side at times it still stays generally comfortable pretty much throughout the entire week don't want to forget about the tropics we do still have tropical storm chris it right now is off of the uh, carolina coastline it's going to travel up the coast as we go through the week and it's really not going to affect us too much when it comes to rain and thunderstorm activity but it could be a rip current risk threat especially in the middle of the week along the jersey coastline so if you are at the delaware jersey beaches do be prepared for that 88 degrees for our high temperature tomorrow. We're going to look for potentially a shower or thunderstorm on Tuesday. We get back up into the 90s there and then we could see another chance for some higher 80s, a bit more seasonable Wednesday and Thursday, but plenty of sunshine for us. And then of course we have Summerfest coming again this Friday. We could see another day of 90s, but really Natasha, I think Ooh. that seven day forecast is something that we can all get on board with. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Anything that's not like last week, <laughs> yes. which was torture. Right. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Leslie, yay. I'm so glad to see you. No.